Oh boy, I just shut my speech off. I'm sorry. I can't tell I'm nervous. Okay, I'm sorry. That was, uh, how do you follow that? <laughs> no pressure, right? Well, bear with me here, I'm gonna try. I think the last time I was this nervous to walk across the stage, um, I was accepting my diploma when I graduated from Columbine High School. That's pretty good, man. I didn't trip walking up here, so I think I'm off to a pretty good start. When I was first presented with the opportunity to speak on behalf of the survivors, I was very reluctant. I didn't know how I would be emotionally, what state I would be in. Well, I can tell you right now, looking at the crowd, looking at all of you, I'm filled with pride. Well, not just pride, rebel pride. I'd like to thank the committee for allowing myself and my wife, Kara, to be a part of it. Uh, it's meant a great deal to us to contribute and to honor those 13 precious lives that were lost. I tried this this morning, <clears throat> uh, and I'm gonna, I would like to try it again. Um, I would like to thank the first responders that were there that day, the firemen, EMTs, police department, sheriff, all of you. It's because of you that somebody like me survived that day. You've inspired us to do more. You've inspired us to give back to our community. You inspire us to inspire you. I'm sorry. I'm very emotional. Um, it's been a rough couple of days. Um, for those of you who might not know my story, and I have a feeling there might be a few, I was shot six times at leaving me paralyzed from the waist down with a T12 incomplete spinal cord injury. After 49 surgical procedures, months of the hospital, and years of physical therapy, I was able to crawl again. I taught myself, and eventually I began to walk. Neat. Needless to say, I've acquired myself a decent amount of scars. Those scars play out like a book. They tell a story of my journey, my personal journey, from where I was to where I am to now. But not all scars are visible on the skin. On that day, there were close to 2,000 people inside, students, staff, and teachers. On that day, those people walked into that building, but not a single one of us walked out the same. Everyone was broken. We all bled blue and silver. But because we were broken, we were missing something inside, and it was that something that we all were missing that allowed us to come together. With the media looking in, looking for us for answers, we led the way. We showed them that we can overcome evil. We can love one another. We can become family. To my Columbine family, all of you, I love you and I appreciate it. All of your support throughout the years, because if 
because of you that I'm up here today. It took me having a baby to truly understand just how far I didn't quite understand what my parents had gone through until I put myself into their shoes with my daughter. And it's because of that that I have a whole new appreciation for the people I love. I'd like to thank my family, my mother and dad, my brother Seth. I may have lost a friend that day but I gained a brother in return. I love you, Adam. I'm proud to be a part of this community. I'm a rebel. To the future generations of Columbine, future rebels, it is your job to represent this community the way that we had. Go out, love one another, Learn from our mistakes. We didn't realize how much we meant to each other until it was too late. It took tragedy for us to realize that we can move past hate. We don't have to not like each other. Enemies, we're now best friends. We love one another. You're my family. We made friendships. We gathered strong. We led by example. We will remember the precious 13 lost, the lives. We will honor their lives by spreading love, by doing a kind act, by treating each other with respect. Thank you. I'm sorry. This is... Um, I'm a rebel through and through. My daughter, she will be a rebel. She's only three now. <laughs> We're rebel strong, and not many people know what that means. Everyone was broken. Everyone with a missing piece. But it was that common whole that allowed us I love you guys. I miss. Thank you for my thank you for the support.